Nokia unveils their new Lumia 925 to some minor surprise. Nvidia's new Project Shield should be ready for release very soon, and BlackBerry will bring BBM to iOS and Android almost half a decade late. I'm Jaime Rivera, and after so many unsurprising events today, it's time for a cold beer. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about NVIDIA. The company has just confirmed that their much expected Project Shield will now just be called the NVIDIA Shield. It'll retail for $350 and you can buy it in June and pre-order as early as May 20th, even though you can sign up right now. And obviously, if you're out there to play some Android games on a gaming console that's designed for Android games and obviously show you off the new Tegra 4, well, stay tuned. $350 is actually quite compelling. Now let's talk about BlackBerry. The company has just unveiled their new BlackBerry Q5. And yeah, that was the R10 that was leaked recently in their roadmap. And it's just a mid-tiered phone that I wouldn't even recommend you wait for, even though it's going to be launched in July. But aside from that, the company has just confirmed that BBM, you know, that BlackBerry Messenger that's existed forever, is now going to be available for iOS and Android as a free application. Five years later, when nobody really cares about BBM, now you do it, BlackBerry. I mean, I don't even have any friends left on BBM. Uh, well, let's see how it goes. It's going to be free and it's going to launch in July as well. Now let's talk about the HTC Droid DNA as Verizon is now asking you to sign up to their social networks and you can get a Droid DNA for free after obviously a two-year contract and signing up and everything. But it just begs to wonder if Verizon is already preparing to launch their HTC One. And since the company has made a lot of fanfare about their CTIA event, it could be the case that since we already have the Nokia Lumia 928, we might be getting the HTC One for Verizon right now in the next coming days. So stay tuned. Now let's move over to Nokia as they've had their event in London happen today and well guess what we've got their new Nokia Lumia 925 aka Catwalk being announced and I'm not even going to bore you with the specs because you already know them. It's pretty much the Lumia 920 with an aluminum rim and a polycarbonate chassis. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's got some enhancements in the camera, some enhancements in software. These software features are actually going to come to the other Lumias in July anyways with their GDR2 updates. It's being called Amber. So, well, I guess it wasn't really that hot of a device as we were expecting, but we've got a full roundtable discussion of everything that all of us Pocket Now editors thought about it. So links down below and leave us your opinion in the comments as to what you think about the Lumia 925. So far, none of us are really impressed. Oh, and by the way, it's going to launch on T-Mobile probably exclusively. So stay tuned for that one as well. And finally, for the skeptical news of the day, Google I.O. is happening tomorrow. We've got some photographs of the show floor and nothing points out to there being a product being launched. So it could just be that Sundar Pichai was actually not lying when he said that they were going to focus on software and not really on hardware. We are expecting some Nexus goodness to happen at this event. But then again, coming from the guy that came up with the Chromebook Pixel, you know, that very expensive netbook you're never going to buy. Um, I'm not really sure I really want hardware coming from him. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. What are your predictions for Google I.O. tomorrow? What do you think that Google is going to launch? Do you think that we are going to get at least a new version of Android? Do you think that we are going to get some software? Um, hardware, sorry. In my particular case, I do believe that we're at least getting a product. I mean, meaning if there is Android 4.3 or Android 5.0, we'll probably get a revamp of the Nexus 7, but that's my personal opinion. Leave us a comment down below. What are your predictions for the event? And of course, for another scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter on Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow is Google I.O. We will definitely have a roundtable of everything we think of whatever is launched at Google I.O. or whatever is not launched. So we'll keep you posted.